he does like the healer puppet. I'm seeing very, very few people running the healer puppet on the queen. But you go in and pop it right there. One of them immediately finds a black air bomb, but the other ones are going to stay safe here. And he could rage the queen there if he wants to. ATS Clashers are taking on Navi today. The Indian team versus the Japanese team. Let's see who comes out on top. It looks like we're starting off today with a couple of rocket blues to go in and. Was it Rocket Blues? Yeah, it was. To try to clear a way for a blimp drop carrying Super Archer. Super Archer's aiming for the Town Hall takedown. We're seeing a lot of anti two star bases in the Town Hall 16 meta. And so. Is he going to get this? No, he's. He, okay, he got the Eagle Artillery down, but he definitely is missing that Town Hall takedown. He, he hit a giant bomb right there. And the Super Archers that were near. It were ended up taken out there by the giant bomb. So now he's got to find his way across the base here. He needs to secure the town takedown as well. For here equipment, we got a level 13 giant gauntlet. And it looks like basic equipment on the queen and a level 7 rage gem on the warden. I don't know how these guys aren't further along with their equipment. Like, my baby accounts. Like, I, I think that my town hall 8 has higher level equipment than some of these guys. <laughs> I don't know what these guys have been doing. Clearly, they're slacking on... Uh, Getting their star bonuses every day and playing in some wars or something. I don't know, but that's going to make it a little bit more difficult to triple against Kazuma here as he makes his way forward. Super Barbarians working the outside of the base there as he makes his way forward there. But the King, he takes the outer loop there, goes right into the monolith. RC joins in. King can uh, pop his ability. Should have popped a little bit earlier there because remember, the giant gauntlet gives a damage reduction so if you're able to take advantage of the damage reduction and stop some of the incoming damage there from the monitor you can actually preserve your hp a bit better it looks like he's able to <coughs> excuse me sustain the king pushes all the way out in front there kind of i think was able to take advantage of that uh bug on the gauntlet there which definitely helped him out a bit remember uh, right now until supercell fixes it if you hit the king with the eternal tome and then pop the giant gauntlet afterwards then instead of getting damage reduction he becomes invincible instead for a little bit there and that actually ultimately is what got him through this so taking advantage of the bug in the game and he's able to pull off a triple as a result even though he missed the town hall take down at the start so that's how we start off guys we'll pass it over to navi and we'll see if they can triple as well he Castro now in for Navi. We got ourselves a Yeti over to the right side. Is it going after the air defense there, maybe? I think it might be. King diving into the very bottom compartment here with the log launcher. Gonna go, go pair with him. It is a Sui Lalo for here equipment. This is P. Castro's secondary account. His main account, obviously, is not in the match here because we saw that his main account already has completely gemmed to max equipment. We saw that the other day when Navi played them, but you can see the difference in his accounts here. This one has a PC space Astro, and the other one is all one word. But this one still has the level 23 giant gauntlet, still has the level 14 healer puppet, and it looks like outside of that, he's just running base equipment. So let's see what he can do here. He does like the healer puppet. I'm seeing very, very few people running the healer puppet on the queen. But he'll go in and pop it right there. One of them immediately finds a black air bomb, but the other ones are going to stay safe here. And he could rage the queen there if he wants to. I guess it's a matter of, do you want to give up the base damage there to get the extra healers? And the healers going to provide more damage, more overall protection for the queen than the archers and the extra damage output of her base stats would provide. And he seems to think so because he's been focusing on that on multiple accounts there. So I won't, I won't ever question Big Castro because he was the MVP in the World Championship. He claimed the title when he played out there in Finland just recently with Class Chance. He easily overpowers his base there. Plenty of blues left over that he can throw down for cleanup. Plenty of spells that he can swag. And it is a triple for both sides. A little bit more swag on the Navi side, though. Cody will attack Klaus. He's going to be taking out the Electro Dragons for this one. We do pop a Power Potion and a Hero Potion. And it looks like he's got a level 12 giant gauntlet. Level 12 rage gem. See, this guy, he was actually working on. I think that level 12 on two pieces of equipment is right about where you would land if you are completely free to play. And so, like, if you're not pumping any... If you didn't buy, like, the cookie pass there, and you didn't 
like gem a bunch than you should be about with two 12 level pieces of equipment because that's where all my low level accounts are and i i haven't bought anything as far as equipment with them all i get is the gold pass on those accounts and i use code eric when i do it as well so yeah you can definitely uh see the difference in the tax there when we break that out there but everybody's gonna catch it up eventually it's all gonna catch up eventually i'm not too worried about it but he does get a good amount of value there with the super archer or the super minion bomb Got the town hall down, but he did not get too much value with these E-Drags, though. He's got one E-Drag still alive on the right side. And he'll get the air defense down as a... Or the, or the air defense. The arch tower down as a chase through right there. But it's just going to chill in the area. He needs to get the heroes to get the rest, though. Where do we start? Left side or right side? He's going to start right side and move him from the top corner. E-Drag, get a couple more shots there. Could he get something down? Maybe those are already weakened up. One more shot. Nope. All right. Here's the world champion. We'll have to pick up the slack there. If we get the queen ability to get the defensive world champion down, that would be ideal. But the world champion starts in. That defensive world champion is low on HP. And, oh, nope. Queen does not pull aggro. Freezes, though. Nice freeze right there. Lost the Spirit Fox. Spirit Fox goes down very, very quickly. That's the outside of the Spirit Fox there. That's why I like the Diggy, especially in this specific situation. We love the Diggy, and Diggy, when the defenses are thinned out into a line like this, tends to outperform. But he puts in the Headhunter for the King, and he's trying his hardest to keep it alive here. The RC cuts across. King is outside. King will go to Phoenix. Queen has the Electro Titan there, but the Queen gets targeted by the King, or what hit her? Either way, she's gone. Where champion dies out here. E-Drag's gonna fall short of this one. And it is a defense for Klaus. And now Navi will have their chance to take the lead. Let's see what Gaku can do here. It is gonna be a queen charge and a root rider attack. He's got some super barbarians and sneaky goblins to provide support here. Queen gonna try to cut off the king's pathing, force him in. And he can go in there and get the scatter shot down. Queen will begin a queen charge, but does delay the healers just a slight moment there until the queen is actually taking damage so that the healers do not transfer immediately over to the king when the queen deploys with the healers that uh, don't have anything to heal on her. That's what you don't want to have happen. That's how you end up with disasters. But Gaku times everything perfectly there. The king going to surge all the way in there. He's going to be under the phoenix, so he keeps on getting strikes there with the giant gauntlet, but... Looks like some clan castle troops are heading his way there. Triple Ice Golem. He'll end up passing that over to the archer. I mean, I don't know what he does there. Uh, Super Barb's gonna go deal with that. All right, Super Barb will go anchor it down inside of the poison. That works out perfect. Keep that damage away from the queen. Don't want the queen getting stalled up here. Let her continue her charge. That works out great. And the phoenix survives and will continue to assist in that area as well. But the queen up top there loses the healing to black air bomb. And we'll make her way into the Town Hall compartment. Angle of approach here looking decent. I think he's okay. Let's keep an eye on those healers. Nope, they're getting targeted. Freeze it. Yep, all right. Seize it. Seize it and reacts. He gets the freeze down. And now he can continue marching forward here. Gonna swing wide though. Avoid the Town Hall poison. It's perfectly fine. Standing a little bit now. Okay, under a lot of damage here. I'm a little bit worried about this Queen's survivability right now. But he goes invisible. But unfortunately, that invisibility was just a slight amount late. And he ends up losing the Queen ability. But he does get the bottle down. And he will eventually get over to the other Ricochet Cannon. But on the other side, Root Rider and Battle Drug go to the far left side Ricochet Cannon. And Queen stay nice and healthy here. You can put that, ske that Skeleton Spell down to the backside. Scatter Shot to help if he wants to. Or he can just swag it. <laughs> I think he can just swag. He'll rage up here to get moving a little bit faster to the cleanup. But yeah, Gaku gets it done. It is two triples for Navi. And they pick up a defense. So they do have the lead here. They can go ahead and swag the rest of his spells. Swag the world champion ability. Easy pick up right there. And Navi's on top. More Electro Dragons. The last one did not fare so well. But let's see if they can make this one work here. Electro Dragons with an Ice Sound. Diving directly into the air defense there. Going after all these defensive heroes nice and early. Blimp is a sail across the base there. And pop that warden ability. Protecting the Blimp and all the e drags while you get all the defensive heroes down. For Hero Equipment, we are seeing a lot of people liking to run the Healing Toe with e drags He's got a Healer Puppet up to level 10 there as well. And Giant Gauntlet up to level 15. 
All right, let's see what he can do with this. Super minions are able to land all the way in there. What is this? Super minions and super wizards in the same blimp? He gets the town hall down, gets the clan castle destroyed, gets everything in the area there wiped out. That was some really good super minion and super wizard value right there. And this one set up much stronger than the last one. And the super minions ended up surviving. So really good value. Really good setup. He got a wall break. Did the wall break open up the other compartment? Yes, it did. It does get the queen out of there so she can walk in, get the air defense down, not leave any straggling buildings, and he can start to march across the base here. But the e drags not done yet. This, this base is crushed. This is so done. <laughs> yeah, he's got this. Nice job. All right, well, that's that's what you got to do, guys. Just, if you're going to do dragons, you got to either pair them with uh, lightning to clear out a big chunk of the base there, or you just go with the super minion or super archer or super wizard bomb, whatever you want to do. What, choose your poison there, right? Easy pick up here. Plenty of swag on this one. Pass it back to Navi. And it looks like ATS Clashers will stay hot on their tail there. They do need to still find a defense. They need to find one at below a 93% if they want to swing this war. It is a warden walk into Zap and Root Riders using the lightning to take out the monolith behind the town hall. And actually, that sets up the flame figure to go in there and secure the tunnel takedown. So he just uses the warden walk to clear the multi arch tower. You got to be very, very careful like, with that because just like a multi inferno, the multi arch tower will reach right past the warden walk and target on the flame figure. So we got the tunnel activated there with the earthquake that was paired with lightning. And it also creates a nice amount of separation there so we don't have anybody going over into that town hall area and getting burned before the flame flicker has a chance to take it down so everybody swing to the far right ice golems gonna stall them up over there we got witches on the outside i'd love to see that uh and kazuma he probably uh, tossed those in there just for me i guarantee it or maybe not maybe he just wanted witches to the outside of there to go support the king as the grand warden just boosts everybody with that max out rage gem Getting a big damage boost there, but a level 17 invisibility vial and a level 15 giant gauntlet. Mainly concentrating on the warden equipment, which seems to be the case with most people. Because all the other hero equipment only affects the individual hero, but the warden affects everybody. All the other heroes and your entire army. So obviously, every single benefit that he provides is amplified to every single troop that you have. But... Just need to get these healers to transform to the queen here. Freeze up the defensive world champion. Healers do move over to the queen. He's turned it into a queen charge. The root riders have died out now. Flamefinger is able to secure the talent takedown. It's got a little bit more HP, but it's going to be dumping another defensive king here shortly. If it can drop out the troops there and then get joined by the headhunter to get the king down, then he should be in a good spot here. There goes the Yeti. There goes the Titan. RC joins left side. And there goes the Headhunter to sneak on by while the King's distracted. Looks like he's got out of control here, guys. Queenie just needs to break the wall here. Oh, she's choosing a really bad wall, though. Oh, maybe that could cause problems. I think he's okay, though. He's got an RC ability. RC ability should be able to clear up the rest of the defenses here. And then uh, she'll jump the walls and finish it off there. So Queen, Queen just, uh, she's just choosing bad walls. It's okay. It's a triple. Navi will sustain their lead, not giving up the defense, and ATS Clash is just going to have to keep the pressure on and keep hunting to maybe pick up a defense later on. Hindram going in with Super Bullers. It's a box face. He's going in opposite of the Town Hall, and I would have expected that if we had the Town Hall that exposed that we would maybe snipe it off with some sneaky goblins, but I guess not. He does go ahead and get a... A uh, Barbarian and an Archer to go tank the Mortar up here. As the Warden Walk finished up the left side of the base here. Looks like he's running Life Gem and the Eternal Tome. Still very good equipment there for the Bullers. See a lot of people running also an Apprentice Warden and then uh, swapping into the Eternal Tome and the Healing Tome. That's also a very good option for Super Bullers. Been seeing like uh, Yada using that a lot there from early attacks. But we do have the healer puppy here so we can get her next to healers there once he's in the base by popping that queen ability and obviously king oh nope not obviously uh zane obviously expected to click on that and see a giant gauntlet but he's actually already basic equipment of the warden here maybe he doesn't have a level up there maybe he's better off with this until he gets it leveled up there but he's got the ward ability pops it now and now let these bowlers cook in the core of the base here he's gonna lose one of them that got pinned by a wall up top claim thing is still moving 
Our champion on defense went down, but the offense or the defensive queen is still standing. It puts our champion to the side that the hero was removed, though. And he does make it to town hall. Bullers is still alive. Healers under rage will keep everybody topped off here. So he's hanging in. Super Dragon pops out of the top there and takes out the defensive queen. That's a big pickup right there. And now you just got to get past this ricochet cannon. He's got the skeleton spell there. Queen generates some extra healers there with her healer puppet. And there's the skeleton spell for the backside of the base there. Hindram will get another triple for ATS Clashers. And now, once again, the pressure's on the Navi. They haven't made any mistakes yet. But ATS Clashers is desperate for a defense. They have to either stop Klaus or Stars. Who is the easier out of those two players to stop? I'd say Klaus is easier to stop there because sometimes he likes to goof around. But with the war, very, very close here. We'll see what he decides to do because he has been typically taking that fourth spot. So I expect him to go next. I guess we'll save Klaus for last. Let's dive into stars as he goes in and tries to sustain the lead here for his team. Zappadalalo will be his attack of choice. He's then majorly favoring this attack here all the way since Town Hall 15. And he hasn't slowed down with it in the slightest ever since. So he'll wall break the king in. King's gonna go in and get the defensive queen, get the scatter shot, get the expo. And obviously, at the same time, funneling for the queen. Drive the queen towards the town hall. Golem deploys as the king ends up passing some of the tanking over to the golem. And he'll finish clearing that compartment there. He also gets the clan castle dealt with there. That's fantastic. Got the defensive king up top there. The golem giving all the protection that the queen needs for her equipment. Level 21 on that giant gauntlet. Doing some good work there with that king. All that damage reduction is very, very nice to get a lot of value out of the king there. And just more time to stay under your in or your uh, your splash damage is what you got out of it, right? But he will get a headhunter down. He will engage the town hall. Queen pops her ability, takes it right there, and then running, of course, life gem, and then he maxed out his eternal tome as his highest priority there. But he'll push his way forward now. I wonder if stars would ever like uh gem to max any of his accounts there. But he has so many accounts there. Like, this is his main account. But he's got, like, six accounts, right? Six Town Hall 16 accounts there that he's got to power through. <laughs> I mean, he's, he ends up at the very top of Legend League almost every single day using this attack. Every single month. Top of the boards. Another triple to just tack onto his belt right there. Easy, easy pickup for stars. He just does so much work here with these Lalos. Like, the, the fact that he can just pick apart almost every single base, every single base design, and find a way to take it down with his attack here, and make it look so effortless, right? Like, he just effortlessly gets his heroes to go in there and take out, like, half of the base there with just the lightning, the king, and the queen. And then he has so much force for the Lalo to go take the other half there. It's actually incredible every single time to watch. But now... Navi is going for the perfect, and ATS Clashers is still hot of the tails. It's going to come down to Ayush and Klaus to close out the war. If ATS Clashers can win this exchange by seven buildings, they will win this war. When so many others are running for riders. Ayush breaking out the twin hog. But look at this. He doesn't have a higher level healers. He probably should pop a power potion here, honestly. Like, with the war on the line, I feel like the extra benefit of a power potion would help out here. Just to have that little bit of extra edge there to break. Or to just to give for the healers alone. I think for the healers alone would be worth it. But for hero equipment, we have a level 85 king. A level 90 queen. Base equipment all around. This has got to be like a second account. This has got to be like a second account there. And his main one is probably spun somebody else. Because I'm pretty sure Ayush has multiple accounts. But he will go ahead and wall break through. I mean, I guess if you have, like, basically a fresh Town Hall 16 and the wars on the line, you're going to basically use the Town Hall 15 meta because you don't have Root Riders, right? So maybe Hogs are a good option here. But imagine, imagine if he pulls this off here. And imagine if they then find the defense against Klaus. Well, we're lagging a little bit here. We're lagging. That's not me. 
That's him. I hope it doesn't disconnect. That would be really bad right now. Okay, he's moving again. He's moving again. Let's see if the queen gets spells. Nope. 17% logged. A disconnect on the final attack here for ATS Clashers. That's unfortunate. But that's that's that. Now, imagine if after that disconnect, Klaus ends up with a miss on this one. Looks like the base that he's attacking, though, is effectively a Town Hall 15, which is kind of what we saw on defense there. Or offense, I mean. Well, as we saw from the offense of EU, she was a fresh Town Hall 16. And we can see that even more emphasized on defense as he has one merge defense built here. And I feel like uh, you gotta, that's gotta be a secondary account for him. But a disconnect means uh, Klaus has an easy time here closing this one out. As all he has to do is basically complete a dip attack here because this is more or less a Town Hall 15 base. So Klaus is just gonna make his way in with the king. Diving in with the giant gauntlet. Gonna go clear that compartment and also watch how we engage the defensive row champion. Look at that. He hits the wall. Hits her. <laughs> hits her through the wall because he does splash damage and takes out both at the same time with the world champion. Now with the defensive world champion of the way there, we'll dive in with a wall wrecker crossing through to go secure the town takedown. Like that. Must be uh, getting some tips here from stars, right? Uh, but looks like the RC gonna go clear the way there. King. Goes to Phoenix. He does go all the way to the multi archer tower. Diggy takes a stun and we'll get that down there. Perfect. All right, now he just needs to. I guess. Do you spend spells on the town hall? Oh, it's a super dragon. Wait a second. There's nothing other than the town hall in the area there. So the super dragon will take the town hall. That was an interesting choice right there. I mean, that's creative. That's, uh, that's where you see pure customization to your army, knowing exactly what your heroes are going to get in the area. So you know that you can drop out a Super Dragon and it can solve the Town Hall with zero spell support. But if he needed the invisibility of the freezes, if he had Tess or something pop in, then he could have dealt with it. The Queen, not even done yet. She claims one more Multi-Inferno and now she'll go down to the Expo unless he saves her. But I feel like he's gonna pop his spells into the Multi-Inferno here, make sure that goes down. And guys, yeah, even if there was not a disconnect, I think if you have a player with that low of defense and then you also have the caliber of attackers that Navi has. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of swag. <laughs> All right. It was a dip though. It was kind of like a dip. I uh, had one multi archer tower and that's all he had there. But guys, it is a perfect war. Navi was going to take it one way or another. So the disconnect did not affect the outcome, but Navi is moving on to the next round in the Clashers United Cup. Their next opponent is looking to be either Find This Base or VA Esports. And last time the Navi faced off against Find This Base, they lost to them. And we have not yet seen them play against VA Esports, but that's a big newly signed team gathering up all the all-stars out of North America. So we have some good matches upcoming here. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, and we'll see you in the next one.